thank you so much for joining us. And we begin tonight with the story that has dominated the news all week, the horrific terror attacks in France. Now, one of the big developments of this week was the fact that the ringleader, Abdul Hamid Aboud, was killed on Wednesday, and his death was welcomed by pretty much everyone. The New York Times reports when his family heard that he'd possibly been killed last year, Aboud's own sister said they prayed he was dead. Holy shit! Even his own family had prayed for his death, which is absolutely understandable, but it's also the darkest tale of a family's homicidal tendencies towards one of their own since the Home Alone movies. <laughs> yeah, oh, you really think the McAllisters left Kevin behind by accident twice? No, they wanted that little shit out of the picture. Open your eyes. The McAllisters were murderers. <laughs> Hashtag McAllisters McMurderers. <laughs> now, as, as for the people of France themselves, they have spent the week trying to resume something resembling daily life, an effort led by their president, Francois Hollande. La vie doit reprendre pleinement. Life must resume in full. What would our country be without its cafes, concerts, sporting events and museums? Oh, I can tell you what France would be like without all its cultural institutions. It would be Luxembourg, and nobody wants that. <laughs> Uh, did you know that if you Google interesting Luxembourg facts, the result is just a page that says no? <laughs> now, now, to their credit, many French people have embraced this idea of returning to normal life. And I think the most reassuring sign that they're getting back to being their quintessential selves was how they behaved at a concert just a few days after the attacks when someone tried to stage dive. La chanteuse Shaim était à Bercy. Voici les images. Elle a rendu un vibrant hommage au rock and roll. Regardez. Elle s'élance, et hop! There is the Paris we know and love. A city of people so aloof they wouldn't lift a finger to catch one of their own airborne pop stars. I do not care for, uh, how you say, crowd surfing. <laughs> Such a crass spectacle betrays nothing but a poverty of intimacy, no? <sighs> <sighs> A French TV show actually took that video out and showed it to people in the street, and their response was fantastic. Elle était en concert, elle a eu le courage d'être en concert, mais elle a voulu se jeter dans la foule. Elle est là, elle court. <laughs> you know, to me, that is the best sign that France is going to be okay. It's sort of like how, how New Yorkers knew this city was going to bounce back after 9 11. The first time a heavy set man in a Jets visor stole a cab from them and told them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> That is what healing looks like. <laughs> Meanwhile, here in the US, the Paris attack has touched off a ferocious debate about Syrian refugees. You may remember, President Obama had pledged to accept at least 10,000 over the next year. But after news broke that one of the attackers may have posed as a refugee and entered Europe through Greece with a fake Syrian passport, many US officials had second thoughts. 31 governors now oppose, are refusing, or suspending the resettlement of Syrian refugees into their states. OK, that's pretty extreme, but it's also pretty meaningless for two reasons. One, governors don't have the legal authority to ban refugees. And two, even if they could, Syrians can just walk between states <laughs> like anyone else. The lines on maps are not crocodile-filled moats. 